This is a rare piece of rough. It is pink topaz from Brazil, and I got it, by luck, from Thomas S. when he recently relaunched his website for selling gemstone rough. Thomas had some unique pieces of rough when he relaunched his website, and this was one of them, so I grabbed it. It is good news to cutters that Thomas's website is now back up and running. And when people think of topaz, they're mostly thinking blue topaz, sky blue, London blue, Swiss blue, electric blue, etc. And that's because most topaz on the market is blue, and it's generally an affordable gemstone, blue topaz. Now the rarest and most valuable color of topaz is imperial topaz. And pink and red topaz are also very rare and also command a high price on the market. And if anyone has any red topaz rough, let me know. I want to cut that someday also. And of course, uh, price is also determined by size and clarity and cut in addition to color. I rarely have an opportunity to purchase pink topaz from Brazil as almost all the pink topaz mined in Brazil is cut and sold as finished gemstones rather than being sold on the rough market. There is some pink topaz mined in Afghanistan, Pakistan, but a lot of these pink topaz lose, lose their color in direct sunlight. And even so, uh, the pink topaz from these mines in Afghanistan or Pakistan do command a premium price. So again, I was fortunate that Thomas had this piece of pink topaz in his collection. Bopi was as excited as I was to be able to get our hands on a pink piece of pink topaz. And I'm looking forward to cutting this piece. This rough is small, weighing in at three and a quarter carats, and it looks well shaped for a rectangular shaped design. There are some issues with the rough that I'll have to work through to get an internally clean gemstone, but it's doable. And I am looking forward to fastening this pink topaz, so wish me luck. Because this piece of rough is shaped like a rectangle, I'm going to use a design which I've cut before using a piece of Rwanda amethyst. And Rwanda amethyst is arguably the finest color of amethyst found to date. I say arguably because although most in the gem trade agree that Rwandan amethyst is the top color of amethyst, it's not universally agreed. But here's a link to that video where I cut Rwandan amethyst using this design so that uh, you can go to that video and you can see the design and see where I got the design. And here is the design I will use. I got it again from the Australian Fasteners Guild website. And note that when cutting a rectangle design with step cuts, you do not have to follow the length to width or L to W ratio in the instructions. You can make a rectangle design with step cuts any length and pretty much any width you want. But this only works if there are step cuts. So even though these instructions call for a length that is 1.25 times the width of the final gemstone, you can ignore that ratio and make the length as long as you want. And this really helps in the case of rough like, like this that I have, this pink topaz, because this rough is very long compared to the width. So it really is a perfect design for the shape of this rough. Okay, for our pink, pink topaz, uh, it's uh, small and it's already shaped like a rectangle. So I'm just gonna use a standard emerald cut design. And so it goes into the Ultratech machine with the long sides at the 96 and the 48 and the short sides at the 24 and 72. So we just lock it in place with the uh, set screw and we're ready to start cutting our pink topaz. Okay, the rough was uh, formed kind of bad. There were some breaks in it and uh, as I was working the pavilion to get all the cracks out of it and fractures, I ended up with the width being less than I had anticipated. So I'm going to, uh, but I've got the width where I want it now. So I'm going to transfer the stone and cut the upper half uh, first because I have to, uh, I do have to reestablish the girdle. I don't have the girdle quite right. Um, so the width will get a little smaller. And with the current dop, I'll be cutting into the glue so I'm going to transfer the stone and cut the upper half, polish the, the crown first, and then go back in and work on the pavilion. But I did get all the fractures out of the stone. I've got the upper half of my uh, 
pink topaz all polished up except for the table. So now I'll uh, set up the stone to cut and polish the table. Then we'll go back and cut the bottom half of the pavilion. Okay, for the uh, dock retention screw in the Ultratech, what I did for a long time was remove the brass screw all the way. There's two brass screws that come with the Ultratech. One is headless, like this one, which I use an Allen wrench to remove. And the other has a head so you can open it with your fingers. But with this one, you don't have to remove the brass dop retention screw. You just un loosen it up and then screw it in so that it goes in further than your spindle. And then the uh, you can just put the uh, table adapter, slide it right over, and you don't have to remove the brass dop retention screw. Okay, the uh, table polished right up with uh, aluminum oxide uh, bat stick on a uh, tin lap. So now I'll transfer the stone back and uh, cut the bottom half of the pavilion. Okay, I finished polishing the bottom half, the pavilion. Normally I do the table last, but the pavilion lasts this time. So I polished right up with uh, aluminum oxide bat stick and uh, tin lap. So now I'll remove the stone from the dop, weigh it, measure it, and send it off to Bopi. Today I was fortunate enough to cut a rare pink topaz from Brazil. And I cut this pink topaz using a standard rectangle or emerald design, nothing fancy. And that's because this rough was small and already shaped into a rectangle. And I did need a step cut design so that I could make the length as long as I wanted because this rough was relatively long. This design is not at all difficult to cut and it's suitable for gem fasteners of any level. Even a brand new cutter could cut this design, but I would not recommend your first gemstone be pink topaz due to the cost of the rough, but definitely you could use this design. So please let me know in the comments what you think of this design and of this piece of pink topaz. And as always, happy fastening everyone.